Hello everyone, welcome back to Pia Nursing Tutorial YouTube channel. In today's class, we are going to dive into everything you need to know about pediatric syrups. In this class, we will cover what it is, when to use it and how to administer safely. Before we start, it's uh, vital to remember that this information is for educational purpose only and is not a substitute for professional medical advices, diagnosis or treatment. We'll start with Thinarist. Here, composition is paracetamol, chlorpheniramine, malate and sodium citrate. These are the compositions. And then when to use this? During cough and cold and then runny nose. Dose is 3 to 6 months, 1.5 ml BD twice a day and then 6 to 12 months 2.5 ml BD and then 1 to 10 years 5 ml that is also BD. Next Tumol. Here composition is paracetamol methanemic acid and then when to use it. Reduce it is used for reduce fever and then body pain. Dose is 15 mg per kg and then 5 into 5 that is uh, 75 mg and then next one is a citrazine composition is citrazine hydrochloride and then uses are during uh, when that uh, person is having allergy with allergy cough and cold and then running nose and then dose is 3 to 6 months 1 ml bd 6 to 12 months 2.5 ml bd and then 1 to 10 years 3 ml that is also twice a daily BD. Next one is solvin cold. Composition is paracetamol, chlorpheniramine, malate. And then when to use this? Cough and cold during cough and cold and with a runny nose. And then dose is 3 to 6, 3 to 6 months that is 1.5 ml BD, 6 to 12. 2.5 ml BD and then 1 to 10 years 5 ml twice a day and then Montec LC that is composition is Montelic acid sodium and then Levocitrazine and then when it is used in the case of allergy cough and cold and runny nose dosage is 1 to 2 years 3 ml BD 2 to 10 years 5 ml BD and then next is Grinilkas that is composition is turbidoline sulfide and then bromohexin hydrochloride. Uses are asthma, bronchitis and then cough. Here the dosage is 4 to 10 years 5 ml BD twice a day. And then next one is genflox. That is composition is ofloxazin. And then uses are lungs infection, ear infection and then skin infection. Dosage is 6 to 12 months. 2.5 ml BD, 1 to 5 years, 5 ml BD. Next one is Az. That is composition azithromycin and then uses are lungs infection, ear infection, skin infection. And then dosage is 6 to 12 months, 2.5 ml OD and then 1 to 5 years, 5 ml OD once a day. Next one is Mahasep. That is composition is Cifixin, uses are Nose infection, ear infection and throat infection. And next dosage is 6 to 12 months, 2.5 ml BD, 1 to 5 years, 5 ml BD. Next one is Augmentin. Composition is Amoxicillin, Potassium, Clavulinate. And then uses are lungs infection, ear infection and then urinary tract infections. Dosage is 6 to 12 months, 2.5 ml BD. And then 1 to 5 years, 5 ml, that is also BD. Next one is Oflox OZ. Here composition is Ofloxazin metronidazole. Uses are stomach infection and then diarrhea. Dosage is 6 to 12 months, 2.5 ml BD. 1 to 5 years, 5 ml BD. And then next one is MSZ. Composition is Ondansetron. It is used in the case of vomiting and then dosage is 6 to 12 months 2.5 ml BD and then 1 to 5 years 2.5 ml BD twice a day and then 
cyclopalm next one is cyclopalm and then composition is tricyclam and hydrochloride and then use is it is used in the case of uh, stomach pain and then dosage is 6 to 12 months 1.5 ml bd and then 1 to 5 years 2.5 ml bd next one is zincovit and then composition is multivitamin uses is increase immunity to use it is used to increase immunity and then in the case of malnutrition and then dosage is 6 to 12 months 3 ml bd and then 1 to 10 years it is used 5 ml bd next one is orofor xt that is composition is ferrous ascorbate and then uses it is used in case of anemia and low hb dosage is 3 to 6 months 1 ml bd 6 to 12 months 3 ml bd 1 to 10 years 5 ml bd has to be given next one is abz that is albendazole oral suspension that is the composition is albendazole and then uses parasitic infection and then dosage is here 6 to 12 months 3 ml od once in a day and then 1 to 10 years 5 ml od next one is paracetamol syrup dosage is for the for one years or uh, 2.5 ml and then uh, for one to three years it is given to 5 ml and then tablet dose is uh, 7 to 10 years that is 250 mg can be given next one is glucold syrup the dosage is one years one ml one to three years 2.5 ml and then leoset syrup it is for one to three years 2.5 ml can be given next of syrup dosage 1 to 3 years 2.5 ml 5 to 10 years 5 ml can be given and then next is dairy fill in syrup it is given for asthma and breathing difficulties dosage is one for the one years 1 ml has to be given 1 to 3 years 2.5 ml can be recommended and then for sip red syrup here dosage is 1 to 3 years 2.5 ml and then 3 to 6 years 2.5 ml can be given and then perinom syrup dosage is for the 1 years 1 ml 1 to 3 years 2.5 ml and then 4 to 6 years 5 ml can be given next to flex syrup that is uh, dosage is 1 years 2.5 ml 1 to 3 years 5 ml 4 to 6 years 5 ml can be given and then Drifen syrup. Here dosage is 1 to 3 years, 2.5 ml can be given, and then 4 to 6 years, 5 ml is the dosage. I hope you all are very clear with the pediatric syrup. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative content. Thank you for watching.